Hey guys, are you a caffeineaholic? If yes, this video is definitely for you. Okay, so before even diving into the stats, let's see what are the benefits of having coffee. Two cups of coffee can cut post-workout muscle pain by up to 48%. Reduces suicide risk and depression. Coffee drinkers have less risk of heart disease. Coffee reduces colorectal cancer risk. Lowers risk of type 2 diabetes. Lowers risk of Alzheimer's disease. Finland is well aware of this. According to the International Coffee Organization, Finland's coffee consumption, in kg per person per year, is 12 kilograms. That is something. Finland, 12 kilograms. Norway, 9.9 kilograms. Iceland, 9 kilograms. Denmark, 8.7 kilograms. The Netherlands, 8.4 kilograms. There are many types of coffees outside. Okay. Here are a few. And the showstopper is the filter kaapi from South India. If you like to pep up your coffee a little more, you may be wondering what type of coffee has the most caffeine. This chart shows types of coffee and caffeine per ounce. Decaf coffee instant has 0.25 to 0.38 milligrams. Decaf coffee, brewed, has 0.38 to half a milligram. Drip coffee has 8.13 milligrams to 15 milligrams. Brewed coffee has 11.88 milligrams. Cold brew coffee has 12.5 milligrams. Nitro cold brew coffee has 20.31 milligrams. Espresso has 30 to 51.34 milligrams. And here comes the highly caffeinated coffee the Death Wish coffee which has 58.5 to 77.33 milligrams. According to the recent US dietary guidelines, 400 milligrams of caffeine a day can be part of a healthy diet for most adults. That's 2 to 4 8 ounce cups of most coffees. An 8 ounce cup of Death Wish has 472 milligrams. Federal regulators are pulling a type of coffee with the words death wish in the name because it can cause botulism, which can kill you. That's it folks. Happy brewing.